Guys, I regret to inform you that there is some super sketch going on Kickstarter board games right now. Uh, there is a very popular board game currently at over a million funded that uh, isn't exactly being truthful to you. And we're going to dive into that. Uh, we're going to look into some government documents. We're going to do the whole thing. You guys know how it is, so let's get to it. Okay, so if you didn't know, there is a little bit of history here on both parts of this. So obviously I haven't thought of the thumbnail or the title yet, but I don't like beat around the bush either when it comes to a lot of this kind of stuff. So uh, this has to do with Terraria and Stone Sword games. So it's a little bit of history in both. Terraria, huge, huge fan of the IP. I have well over 100 hours in the uh, Steam game that I played to death then got it even on the consoles so my kids could play some more as well. And in general, just had a great time with it. Played it with my wife, played it with my kids. Love the IP. Been super excited about the board game, more of a card game, but either way, the board game coming up here when it comes to the campaign. I've been tracking it for a while. I've been including it on many top lists. I have very much pointed you guys towards this game. And for that, I apologize because you see... There's a connection between it and Stone Sword games. And Stone Sword games I also have a kind of uh, past experience with, with Senjutsu. It was one of the few games that looked like it appealed to me that I didn't end up liking. So to summarize this issue really quick, and maybe it's worth another video. Um, when you are somebody like me who doesn't have a team that isn't doing this full time, right? I have very limited time on what I put on the channel. And because of that... I tend to not just try to review every game out there, but instead games that look like I would like. So that if I do like them, I can tell you. And if we have kind of some kind of alignment on that, then you can hear more about that, right? Or games I'm interested in. Now, there's a lot of games that I end up not interested in. And often I will say that on here, just because if I'm interested in it, you might be as well. And if I'm not interested in it, you might want to know that, right? Or, or the reasons why, kind of like Terraria here. So we'll, more on that. So naturally there's a filtration of positive content when it comes to reviews because the only thing I'm going to, you know, actually ask to play is a game I already think I'm going to like to the point where I will uh, work on a prototype. They approach me or I approach them. It doesn't matter, right? That's kind of the filtration system there. So in general, reviews will trend positive because... I already agreed to do it. If I looked like a crap game, I wouldn't play it. Unless it was a game that I thought looked like crap, which case it'd be in a news video, so not a review. So, all right, with that out of the way, Sinjetsu got a fairly negative review from me because it was something I just did not like. It just it wasn't enjoyable for me. I had a lot of problems with it. Mechanically, I didn't like it. I, I, I thought it was one of those games that you're going to play a few times and then just check out because it's not really something you can like really get into in, in, in a way that I would have liked and I didn't like feeling in control. There's a whole review. You can look at that. Um, the owner of the game of the game company didn't really care for that too much and ended up playing with me and then it was a close call, but he barely beat me. And I guess, I don't, I don't know. In, in, either way, there was like this whole thing, right? Okay. So fast forward a couple years, still haven't delivered in a lot of, in fact, they're having a lot of problems. That being said, he started a new company. So let's go ahead and discuss this. So here's Terraria here, over a million raised, which of course is Terraria. I mean, come on, 7,800 backers and 19 days to go. Thank God there's still 19 days to go so that if I can provide a warning for you and you want to act on that warning, you still have time or we can help get the word out. So feel free to share this video as you see fit to people that may need to know at least a little bit more information than Paper Fort Games is willing to give them. You see, Paper Fort Games right here, they, they've made two games so far, and now they're making Terraria here. And you think, well, that's great. You know, it's, it's Paper Fort Games, uh, like a cool company that are making this cool stuff, like Terraria. Awesome, right? Well, sadly, not so much. You see, here's the government.uk website, which tracks all sorts of stuff, including companies, you know, uh, like LTDs here, Paper Fort Games, and who owns them? In this case, it is uh, James Faulkner uh, is the d sole director of Paper Fort Games. The problem is he actually is the director of Stone Sword Games as well. 
So here's kind of the issue when it comes to this, right? Is nowhere here in the Terraria campaign does it mention that he owns another game company. Another game company with problems, okay? So if we go to Sinjetsu, here's Sinjetsu Battle for Japan, right? This was supposed to deliver May 2022. Now, quite a few people have gotten their games but not everybody. And honestly, it, it, it gets bad. It gets pretty bad. So let's go ahead and take a look at some comments real quick. And then we're going to look at an, uh, the last update, which has a resignation and all sorts of other stuff, right? So this is Sinjutsu Battle for Japan. Here's the comments, right? And uh, there, there's a lot of negativity here, right? Uh, this is the big worry here. Looks like Terraria made enough money to cover the wave two and three issues. Now it's moving ahead. I hate to just name drop Mythic Games, but this is exactly the issue we've seen before. An indie company makes money, right? In this case, Sinjutsu, Battle for Japan, by the way, he walked away with like almost a million pounds, right? Like, like he, 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 this did well, 11,683 backers, and yet it still hasn't delivered a lot of stuff. People still haven't even gotten their base game, and yet... It looks like, don't worry, he's launching other campaigns under other companies, not telling you about it. And then it looks like, hey, with that influx of money, don't worry about these past campaigns. We can deliver that. So I'm going to loop back here real quick. If you are a backer of Terraria, watch out. And I'm saying that now. I, this, is, this is serious, guys, okay? I have been through this. We have a whole year of negative videos of me covering game companies closing, not delivering, taking your money and running, running a scheme that eventually they trip. The next game that is supposed to fund all the other past games doesn't fund, and then it cascades down and nobody gets their games. I, I don't want to do this again. I don't want to do this again. If there's financial issues and issues delivering past games, and now he's created a new company, right? If we go here... And if we go to like when this happened, right? So he made this one, Stone Sword Games, September 11th, 2018. And now here he comes in Paper Fort Games because he can't make any more on the other stuff probably, June 5th, 2023. And I know I say probably, I know I'm like just my personal opinion, my assumptions, what I'm, what, this is the information I have. You guys now have the same information. Like you make up your own judgment call on that. But like, this is my worry. This is my worry, right? That... There's nowhere here. Nowhere here. If you come here and you go to risks, he doesn't mention that he has another company with undelivered uh, campaigns. He doesn't mention all the struggles that he's had. He doesn't mention that he's now parallel directing two different game companies, both running campaigns, and, and now he wants more funding on this one. No mention of that in risks. Apparently, that's not a risk. According to James, he doesn't need to say that this is a risk to you. You don't need to know that information, right? And and you can even click here. Look at this. He's right there. I mean, it, it's just... It, okay, let's go to the update here. So here's the latest update. Update number 50. Again, you get up to 50 pretty easily. And even then, you know, it's, hey, this, this took a lot longer, right? So they would have had a lot more. But after the years and years and years roll by, you guys know this drill. You guys know how this works, right? Raise a million dollars, struggle in funding because you're a new company. You suddenly have a whole bunch of money and you're going through COVID stuff and all this other things are happening. You guys, the, the pattern is there and it's followed all the time, guys. This starts out with Paul has made the recent decision to resign as director and shareholder of Stone Sword Games, LTD. Well, that's not good news. The directors are leaving now. But don't worry, Terraria is making a lot, and James went ahead and did that without Paul. So, I'm, I'm, you know, who knows what's going on there. And, yeah, signed by James. He's, he's over here making these updates, right? This was April 30th. Wasn't that long ago. Fulfillment. That's right. They're still talking about fulfillment. They're still talking about Wave 2 and Wave 3. We're finalizing shipping details. Well, whoop de freaking do right? I mean, this is just ridiculous. I'm a U.S. backer who has backed over 150 Kickstarters. This is the first time I've never received my pledge. Well, Sean, I hope you're not backing Terraria because the same people are doing it. They just ain't telling you that they're the same people. Suddenly they have a new name and a new brand and they've only done two of them and here's Terraria. Dear Lord. Okay. I mean, it, it, this is so much negativity and people are just tired of it, right? Some of these I'm not even going to put on the channel just because it's just... 
It's bad. Hopefully the new team member can repair the company. After getting a faulty Senjutsu Mini and you not replacing it, I won't buy from you again. Again, you're going to have to watch what companies you back now because they're not going to tell you if they're the same people with a different branding, a different wrapper, same turd sandwich inside, right? So if you have an issue with one company, they can just pretend to be another company. Come on Kickstarter. Kickstarter doesn't care. They'll let you just make companies left and right, apparently, and just put their stuff on there. It's ridiculous. I have finally received my game, but no traces of metallic or neoprene stuff as said in the goals achieved. All substitutes for carton crap replicas. All the world problems, all the delays possible, and finally crap product. Do not expect me to repeat another KS. What a mess. Companies this bad when it comes to communication, when it comes to delivery, when it comes to running the business side of things, so much so that they spawn new businesses to keep running things so they can keep getting funding somehow, they hurt crowdfunded board games. If you are a creator, James is hurting your business because people like this, they have a bad experience and they peace out. And I can't blame them. It sucks to, f do you remember when you used to get a Kickstarter, you used to get a, a crowdfunded board game and how excited you were to open it up, how incredibly happy you were that it delivered and it was amazing, it was real and all this cool stuff. Emilio here, I think that's what his name. Anyway, he did not get that feeling. With Sinjitsu, it was a letdown. A letdown. Crap product. All the promises and the stretch goals, metallic this, neoprene that. Nope, got a turd sandwich. Now, doesn't expect to repeat another Kickstarter. This could have been something great for him, but this did not happen. Best of luck to Paul and best of luck to not screwing over the next wave of customers you get on Daimyo and other future projects. Well, I hate to tell you this Oblivion doll, but uh, he's busy making new companies and he's already running another campaign. You don't need to worry about Daimyo. He'll do that as well and just keep spawning campaigns apparently. That's, that's, that's his tactic here. Sebastian said the director resigning and apparently also selling out of all their shares is another big red flag. Is this a sinking ship? Sure looks like it. Again, you would think, you would think an honest creator, an honest company, a company that had your best interest in mind and not just their next paycheck. When they spawn a new company and then launch a, a, a campaign with a, a, a beloved IP to get a million dollars, they would maybe in their risk and challenges section mention how the directors are leaving, mention how far behind they are in their campaigns. Surely, surely, Paper Fort Games, surely James here isn't wanting to, like, lie to you. I mean, if you read the comments, again, I didn't read through all the comments. If you read the comments, there's plenty of people calling out blatant lies, and that's a quote. Uh, so, I mean, you know, surely that's not that. I'm sure he just wants what's best for you. He has your interest in mind, and it's not just trying to pull a fast one to gain a million bucks. But apparently, in 2024, all you need to do to gain a million dollars is spawn another company in the UK, change your name, get an IP, throw a campaign on Kickstarter, million bucks, there you go. Good luck to the 7,833 current backers. I wish you luck. I hope I am wrong. I hope that everything works out. I hope that somehow, somehow, best case scenario, Terraria funds and is hugely successful, so much so that he can pay and actually deliver his old crap on his other company that he's not telling you about, deliver Terraria, and then never, ever lie to backers again, never, ever, you know, be cagey about running multiple companies and spawning multiple campaigns, never, ever try to pay a previous campaign with the current campaign. Hopefully none of that happens. But I'm here telling you right now that I've seen this happen time and time and time again. I'm tired of making these videos. I'm tired of having to dive into these things and look at the government.uk website because they just won't tell you the truth because they won't be open and honest with you. I am tired of manipulative, lying companies and creators that don't care about backers, that don't care about honesty, and don't care about making a fair dollar, and instead made mistakes and then try to cover it up with lies and deceit. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of games like or companies like Paper Fork Games. I'm sick of companies like Stone Sword Games. And I'm sick of creators like James who makes both of them and doesn't even tell you. I'm so, I, I haven't been angry in this channel in a long time, but I see thousands of backers here and I worry about, I literally worry about this. 
This industry is being eaten alive by terrible creators like this. This industry is dying. These kind of games are dying because people are losing faith because of people like James. He is ruining what this entire channel covers. He is ruining my game of walls here. He is ruining potential for other honest, good, hardworking creators. Because he pulls crap like this. Because a pretty IP and a name change and he thinks he can just start making more money while not delivering the last one. He thinks somehow all the wrongs will be righted. That he can just cover it all up. And you're none the wiser. Not everybody's going to watch this video. Not everybody's going to, you know, see me get all angry here and, you know, show you the facts. And he knows that. There's going to be thousands of people that back this. Not even knowing. Now, if you know this and you're like, you know what? I trust him. That's fine. You, you, it's your money. If you wanted to videotape yourself lighting it on fire and sending it to me, my only response would be, you may as well have backed Terraria. At least then maybe you would have gotten a game. Otherwise, it's the same. By all means, you do whatever you want. You have the facts, you have the information, but it's because of me, not because of him. And sadly, there's going to be plenty of people that just don't know. And they never will. You can put it on the comments. You can share the video. You can get the word out. You can talk about it on BGG. You can talk about it on Facebook groups. You can shout it out loud outside on a mountaintop and, you know, like a, a, a person yodeling and have it carry across the wind. I don't care. It won't get to everybody. There are people that have backed this game and they're out. They won't ever look, read an update again. They will check their email for a pledge manager and that's it. And it's probably enough to back it considering he apparently only needed $25,282 to make this Terraria game, which of course we know is bogus too. <sighs> you know what really sucks? Like I started this video out with, I really like Terraria. I really do. In fact, because I knew this was launching, I installed the game again. Thinking, oh, maybe I'll get back into it. I can throw another doll into the magma, see what happens, right? Like, like I'm, I miss it. I have so many fond memories with me and my family around Terraria. And to see it given to somebody like this, the exact opposite of the stuff I try to push for on this channel, for this industry. It's disappointing. Well, the next video I make is going to be another news video. We're going to talk about some things. There's uh, some other issues. I wanted to focus on this one for now. I thought about combining them because there's a couple that have an issue. But there's also a creator out there that's being way honest. In fact, maybe a little too honest. So we're going to be covering almost the opposite of this as well in the next news video. So stay tuned for that, of course. Guys, thank you so much for your time. Uh, if if you can get the word out to anybody who needs to hear it, again, they can disagree. That's fine. I don't, that, that, that's fine. I just want them to know. I just want them to know, hey, by the way, they're not being totally honest with you. Hey, you can do with that as you wish, I suppose. Thanks, guys. Talk to you guys again real soon.